Hi, I'm attorney Mark Blaine, and I want to talk today about procrastination in your California personal injury case. So procrastination in your personal injury case has a cost to it, it meaning that it'll cost you money if you don't do certain things. Let me give you a great example. If you're injured by a government entity, whether it's city, county, or state, did you know you only have six months to file your injury claim or you'll forever lose a legal right to try to obtain a monetary recovery from the at-fault party? It's true. Six months, very short. I can't tell you how many times I've got calls. Great case, injured by a government entity, but it happened nine months ago. And I asked them, did you file your claim with that government entity? With the form in it was certified. No, they didn't. So it, it's, it's a lot, it's a cost. So being so procrastinating on your case, first thing you got to know is do I have a six month statute of limitations or do I got a two year statute of limitations? Now contrast that with being injured by a private party, which is 95% of the time. Well, in that case in California, you have two years to file your lawsuit. So you got time, you got more time than the six month statute with the government entity. But still, you don't want to procrastinate until the 23rd month to talk to a lawyer. And believe it or not, I get calls every now and then just with those same facts. People have waited to the 22nd, 23rd month having a great case and they just don't know where to turn. The thing is, it's, it's very problematic for an attorney to jump into a case that's got a month or two months to go and the statute of limitations expires. A lot of times I have an office policy where I won't take a case that's over 12 months old. And, that, and the reason why is because I want to be prepared and be, my, be the best for my client. I don't know what they were doing for those past 23 months in one consult. So it becomes risky for me if I have to jump in and then save the day with a statute protection. So I don't prefer it. Um, I will help, help that client as best I can. But again, this video is to impress upon you the importance of not procrastinating with getting legal advice, finding information well before no, you may not even know if you were injured by a government entity or a uh, private party. A lot of times in car crashes, you might be uh, injured by a U.S. Postal Service truck that you can't recognize that is a Postal Service truck. Uh, well, in that case, that's federal, so you'll have two years. But sometimes you'll have uh, city vehicles that you can't recognize and you don't know that's not a private party or a, is that a public person or, a, or what. So again, it's very crucial that you speak to an experienced trial lawyer in these situations. So the bottom line here is the early bird gets the worm. Being pro proactive in what you do, the choices you make soon after getting injured is crucial and it can definitely impact the outcome in your case. I make myself available to anyone in this situation who's watching this video that needs help right away. You can call, text, or email me. I got free downloads on my website that can help you as well. With that said, stay strong and have a great day.